All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Jackie Rockman. All right, so let me keep let me get you guys catch you guys back up to date what happened. So I came with a video, not too long ago, like just but like maybe just a couple hours back, and I explained my settings, and then I found out that I was mistaken about the default setting. I thought that the default setting was actually what controlled the movement of your character, but it does do that. But not in gunslinger mode. It does that in hunter mode. So in, in hunter mode, D, default X and Y axis only apply to the hunter control scheme. I would suggest everybody to use the gunslinger control controls uh, gunslinger control scheme and go with that. So now let's explain how my settings are. So after figuring that out, I just jacked up the my shoulder aim. So this qualify as your movement and looking around in gunslinger mode right here. Shoulder aim. Just jack it up full around with it. I put it up to 145. I test it slightly. It's 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 fast. I can see things. I can do a 360. Um that's all that matter. You want to have a control scheme that you can look around really fast. If somebody hits you from behind, the sides, zombies, uh, monster, uh, hunters, enemy hunters, you want to be able to turn and see it and react to that as fast as possible. So try to turn this up to a point where if you turn your sticks to the side, you can look behind you when you need to see, like as fast as possible like soon you turn boom you see the thing you can do like a, a full-blown 180 no problem um so right now I currently have a 145 somewhere around this area I have that now depending on the size of your monitor that also applies to some sensitivity it might not work say if you have a really big monitor I have a like a 22 inch to 24 inch monitor so it's not that big a deal but these are the things I use right here so I was just doing 1.45 for this and the aim down sights. That's the sights you have when you're aiming down, looking through the iron sights of your weapon. I'm trying to make this slow, but you want to make sure that you can get some really good precision shots when you're aiming down sights. Because like the shoulder aim is when you're just looking like, okay, I gotta get this person, I gotta find this person, and you found them. But now you're aiming down sights, and then your aim, your sensitivity might be too fast or something, and then you're sitting there fighting the uh, what's it called fighting your sensitivity as you're trying to fight the guy. You don't want that. So what I suggest doing is that you want to make it slower than your typical other shooters because inside of this game, a lot of weapons and stuff you have, you can't just sit there and just shoot crazy and if you miss a shot, it's not a big deal. No, inside this game, you want to be able to lay down those shots when you can. So I would suggest making this slightly lower in comparison to all your other shooters so you can actually get accurate shots in because that's the point. You want to get your shots in. Because every shot counts in this game. Especially if you have a gun that has only one bullet and you miss. And you go through the whole reload and everything. That's a big deal. So I will, I put this a little bit on the slower side. But still, you know, say, like as fast as I can, I can handle it. But make sure that it's moved slow enough that I got enough speed that when I see the hunter, I can just keep up with the hunter. And that's 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 the goal. Um, now we come down to the dead eye scope, marksman, sniper scope, and aperture scope uh, sights. I just have it all set to 1.1 for me. That works for me. When I'm aiming down sights, I see I can I can line my shots just fine and well. Um, I personally prefer just putting all the things have everything kind of uniform when I do it. You do not have to do it like this. But if I use a dead eye scope and a marksman scope, I don't want to sit there and to make adjustment in my head or my fingers or how I move the controller because of the scope. I kind of just want to have one type of idea feeling behind it. As soon as I go to scope, and become natural for me when I do it. And I have iron sights is natural for me when I just go into iron sights. Um, I do know, let me also bring up to mention too that the Y axis, what you're aiming, uh, some people would suggest slowing down the Y axis because the X axis go horizontal. So this be left and right, left and right. But look at up and down, you don't really have to do that too often. It's like that's rarely you got to do that. So if that is slower and sluggish, Compared to the X axis, that's fine. But the X axis should definitely be like the fastest one, while your Y's could be slightly lower. But I prefer to have them all the same. So I just move it, everything just move equally. That's what I prefer doing. And then for turning extra strength, I turn it up to 230. Because for the longest time, I was finding the defaults, thinking that this was it. And I was like, oh, I can't seem to get it. So I do the turning extra strength, and I actually felt this, a difference with it. And I was like, yeah! So let's go to the next one. All right, so let's talk about the aim assist and down. Um, and the last couple videos I had, I actually was using the aim assist. Wild, right? 
I was using the aim assist and I feel like after I turn the aim assist on and turn it off, the aim assist, and sometimes yes, that come through and help you out and make some stuff happen, but god dang man, sometimes that thing is just fighting you just as much as you fighting it. So um, right now, I feel the aim assist is best to just turn it off and just run with that for right now. Because if you if once you get a field of controls, you get a headshot some people without the aim assist, you can do that. But if you need to have the aim assist turned off for you, because that's what you prefer having, and that works better with your playstyle, do it. So like this is what I have is just a uh, example or a starting point for you guys to start off from and slowly make small adjustments to to get to where you need to get to. Um, vibration, you can have it turn on, turn off. Um, that's preference. I, I definitely know some games I have that shooters, I would not have my vibration turn on because I don't like the control shaking. I feel like it mess up my aim. So uh, if you're very sensitive about having the utmost control, just turn off your vibrations. If you don't mind it, keep it on. It's all the same. And uh, showing tutorial hints, I don't care. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's whatever to me. I just leave it on because I, I just don't like, I, just, I don't mind stuff popping up. I don't know why. I just don't mind it. I don't read it. I never read it, but I just don't mind seeing it pop up on my screen. So to finalize the video, to show where my settings are at, I have Gunslinger control theme, to control scheme. I then have shoulder aim for while I'm looking around with your pistol out. Then I have aiming down sights right here. And this is at 1.45. Aiming down sights is 1.22. And then aiming down sights multiplier for the uh, die scopes and everything else is 1.1.1, 1 1.1, 1 1 230. If you guys enjoyed the video, please help me out by liking and subscribing to the video. Also, I'd like to thank everybody who, who brought to my attention about the default aims and to get a better at understanding of that. I also will post up a uh, link to the Hunt Showdown website, giving further detail to all the sensitivity and all the settings in here. So if you guys have anything you're, you might have misunderstood or don't, or don't get, it's going to be up there for you guys. Until next time, Jackie's out.